good-looking group of young men. Let's hear it again for our for our Arkansas Razorbacks. All right, guys, have a seat. Gentlemen, how's everybody doing today? You ready to play a little game? All right, this is the first time we've done this. This is going to be new. We are going to play Hogs on a Hot Seat. Are you ready? Dev Waley's up first. Two questions. Two questions for each one of our student athletes. All right, Dev Waley, here we go. We've got to get you a microphone. All right, Dev Waley. What's the most embarrassing thing? And I'm sure you've had a lot of things happen to you. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened? Man, that, that's a tough one. Um, I want to have to say my sophomore year, I sat in the wrong class for a week straight. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a long story. It's a long story. But yeah, I sat in the class for sat in the wrong class for a week straight. Now I gotta ask you. This is not part of the questions here, but I gotta follow up. How'd you realize you were in the wrong class after a week? How did it come to you? Well, see, we get a printed schedule and it's another schedule online. And then also I wasn't checking my emails either. So <laughs> the professor sent the email saying that the classroom had been changed and I never checked it, so what happens when you don't check your email. <laughs> happens to me all the time. All right, let's have a little football talk here, too. You got a lot of running backs in that media, or in that running back room. What's, what's that like, all that competition and all that depth? Man, it, it's, it's been great, man. We, we have a great relationship, man. We, we've been pushing each other real hard. Um, like I said, it's, 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 we have a great relationship. It's like a brotherhood. And, you know, just with Coach Trailer leading us, man, we, we're going in the right direction, and we just have to keep continue to work hard and keep pushing each other to be the best that we can be. All right, I'm going to ask Dev Watt to hand the microphone to Mike. Let's hear it again for Dev Watt, everybody. All right, let's welcome sophomore wide receiver Mike Woods. Mike, what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> uh, that's a tough one, but I'm going to have to go with maybe a football coach. Yeah. You want to yell at one of them the way they yell at you? Is that oh, the deal? Yeah, for yeah? sure. All yeah. right. All right. How's camp been so far for you? Uh, I think it's gone real well. I think both sides of the ball have had uh, a real good camp. Um, offense has had their great days. Defense has had their great days. But overall, I think it's been real good. All right. I'm excited for the fall. Good. We are, too. Let's hear it for Mike Woods, everybody. Hand that over to Scooter. How about Scooter Harris, everybody? Let's welcome him to the stage. If you had to do an impression of one of your coaches, which one would it be? I was thinking about doing Coach True, but I just remember, like, when we go into a team, like, after a practice or something, like, we'll have a terrific practice, and we'll just go into a team meeting, and Coach Morris will just come in there, like, I guess somebody will do something, and he'll just be like, I'm not messing around, man. And he's like, <laughs> Do that again. Can you do it again? You're not gonna get in trouble, I promise. What do you think of the new uniforms? What do you think of those throwbacks like D-Mac used to wear? Uh, um, I love them, man. It's, uh, it's something new. Um, I feel like, you know, we, we, we did a lot of changing, you know, this offseason, uh, we grew as a team. So I feel like, you know, us getting those new, new uniforms is, is a start of something new. It's a start of something special that we building. All right, Scooter, thank you. And I'm going to ask you to pass the microphone on to Grant. Buddy, buddy. Grant, I hear you're kind of a contrarian, so I'm going to ask you, what is it that you love that everybody else hates? Um, I'm going to go with school. I, you love it. I do love school. I love to learn. Um, my friends kind of make fun of me about it all the time. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a, I love to learn new things. So you're saying all these other guys hate school? I'm not speaking right. for them, but I, I, I would bet on it. I yes. understand. I understand. I understand. Hey, you guys did something that I think a lot of people would find pretty interesting. You went through, and I'm going to ask you to clarify this, some of the Navy SEALs, Training, it, it, kind of tell us about how that worked, Grant. 
Um, so a group of guys came in, I think it was eight of them, it was called the program, and they put us through a lot of testing uh, to test like our unity on the team. And they, uh, their main thing was leadership and the bonding between that. So they were there with us for about two days. And we went through a lot of trials, a lot of tribulations where they made us stand up against our peers and like to lead them and be able to show like you, everyone has a role in everything they do. Um, so I think it brought the team a lot closer. Like one day we, uh, we had to jump in the 16 foot water with sweatshirts on. We had to take them off and put them back on in the water. And I don't know if anyone's ever done that before, but that's very hard, especially some of our bigger guys. So uh, it, it gets pretty tight up in a sweatshirt when you're in the water. So I think it really showed uh, our team that like you, you can lean on one another to help you out. Now I'm going to put you on the spider. Who was the one guy on the team that went through this? And everybody looked at him like, man, that is, that's a bad dude right there. Like bad in the, like as a. As in like he could, you know, he could be a Navy SEAL if he decided oh, he wanted to be. I'll tell you right now, I don't think anyone. I don't think we had a single person. <laughs> we were all struggling. At one point, I think we all thought we were waterboarding. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Grant, thank you. I'm going to ask you to pass the microphone on to Connor. It's here for Grant Morgan again, everybody. All right, let's welcome senior kicker Connor Limper. Connor, tell me a ridiculous thing that you're afraid of. I don't know if it's that ridiculous, but I have a true fear of snakes. I'm afraid of snakes, too. How many people are afraid of snakes? I don't think that's all that ridiculous. I, I, I think you're right there with everybody. You know, Grant said something a second ago that, that, that I want you to kind of talk about a little bit more. The team coming closer during the offseason, Scooter mentioned it. You, you've got a unique position to kind of watch everything. What, what have you seen? Uh, I think just us having to wake up every morning and make sure everyone's accountable and then also going through the program has really brought us closer because, I mean, not to call anyone out, but some people couldn't swim, so we got to be there for them and just, like, grow closer to the team and have that trust for each other. All right, Connor, thank you. And I'm going to ask you to pass the, the microphone over to Big Dalton Wagner, sophomore offensive lineman. Dalton, who's your favorite celebrity and why? Uh, Definitely, probably Jennifer Lawrence. And <laughs> I mean, I think the why there is pretty obvious. Yeah. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. That's really all you had to say, isn't it? What's it like having all those offensive linemen at practice this year? There's a bunch of them out there. And I know last year, boy, sometimes you looked around, there weren't that many. What's it like having all of them out there? Uh, it's very beneficial for the competition and stuff. And we go split fields a lot, too. So sometimes it quite doesn't feel like you have depth, but there's plenty of depth all around. And all of our competition, Coach Fry says it all the time, you're hired and fired on the spot. So every day, you got to make sure you're bringing your A game. Otherwise, you get fired. <laughs> all right, Dalton, thank you. We appreciate that. I'm going to ask you to pass the microphone over to senior defensive lineman T.J. Smith. T.J., what are three things you've just got to do every day? Uh, I say first. Um, Got to say my prayers. Um, second, got to brush my teeth. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And I got to wash, got to take a shower. <laughs> All right, now let's talk a little football. I've heard Coach Morris say the defensive line is disruptive. That uh, word disruptive keeps coming up. Tell us about that defensive line and, and uh, how a line becomes disruptive. Let's just say that. Uh, what I can say about the defensive line is um, we got a, well, my bad. a lot of guys up front that have uh, played a lot of football, um, played a lot of games, um, and we got some great coaches, man. Coach Ingram and Coach Caldwell, Coach Alberry, those guys, they coach us up really well. Um, and Coach Chavis, man, he lets us play extremely aggressive. So we just, you know, try to wreak as much havoc as we can. TJ, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm going to ask you to pass the microphone over to Kosha. You guys ready to hear somebody sing? You guys want to hear some singing? Can Sosa sing? He can't? All right. Well, let's find out. Sosa, sing us your favorite song. <laughs> I kind of lost my voice a little bit yelling at the offense. Uh, it would probably have to be a Drake song. I'm a big Drake fan. So it will probably um, something like I'm charged up. Like, um, I, I forgot how it goes. Hold on. <laughs> It's a rough song, though. I can't sing it. You oh, got to just hear you sing. Just pick okay. out a, any okay. song. They just want to hear you sing. 
Hello. Uh... <laughs> Turn away from him. I got, I got you. Hold on. Here we go. Um, I'm gonna hit it. All right. <laughs> I was born by a river <laughs> in a little tent. And oh, it's just like that river I've been running ever since. <laughs> there you go. Hey. You get, lunch. you get lunch, you get Coach Morris, and you get musical entertainment, too. All for one price. What do you think about the new grass field? So, so what's that like to play out there? Um, I like the grass field. I feel like when you play on turf, it's a little bit hotter, so you get a little more heat exhausted. But the grass field is natural. It's something you grew up playing on in the ballparks in a neighborhood. So it's basically getting back to your roots. Guys, you've all done pretty well, and we appreciate you coming up here. Look forward to watching you play this fall, and uh, we'll do this again next year. Let's hear it, guys. First ever Hogs. All right, gentlemen, thank you. You're dismissed.